Hey, what is going on, you dead set legends? And welcome to the Ready Bang, the number one arm wrestling podcast in the world. I'm your host, the Aussie arm wrestler, and joining me today, as you can see, one of the all-time greats, and he's one of the current greats because he's currently a world champion. He is a five-time world champion, three-time European champion, and 15-time national champion, and currently your 115 kilo left arm world champion. I am talking about Ivan Matyashenko. Ivan, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. How, uh, let's get right into your last match. 2024, you're a world champion. Yes, uh, it was great. Opportunity to get the title at East vs. West. Thanks to Engin for organizing that. Um, the opponent was rather young, but uh, he is for sure one of the best in this weight class, in 115. Um, so, that's yeah, it. Yeah, well, <laughs> you have been very, uh, very dominant since you came to super matches in arm wrestling. We haven't seen you in too many super matches. What, what made you want to come over? You, you're amazing, amazing arm wrestler. You've won all these tournaments, all these championships. Why, why last year in 2023, why was that the right time to come to East versus West? Well, you know, there, there are some political uh, issues with Russia. And uh, now it uh, is not allowed to pull at Europeans and Worlds. So, and uh, perhaps that was the time for me to uh, get to a new level because uh, I've been to amateur arm um, wrestling for more than 20 years. And I think that five uh, world championships is uh, enough for me. <laughs> and uh, actually, uh, now all the best uh, pools are in this league. So, so it was uh, the right time, the best time to 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 start. I think. Were you surprised at your own talent when you came over? You you won world championships. You come to East versus West, and you're dominating in East versus West. Uh, I was not. I uh, was not surprised. Uh, because I already pulled with my first opponent, uh, David Rabuli. Uh, we pulled him in the finals of European Championship uh, 2019. Uh, I, knew, uh, I was a little stronger then and, uh, and this time. Uh, I pulled with Camille and uh, his style uh, was very, how to say, uh, comfortable, um, style, stylistically uh, good uh, for my style, and uh, actually, um, actually, I was faster, and there was no uh, pulling in our in our fight. If, if you saw it, it was quick, and uh, uh, there, there were no no pulling. It was it was just a speed test. Who was faster? I was I was faster, and. Uh, and Reno, Reno was really good, but uh, not um, perhaps uh, I had big advantage in uh, experience, maybe twenty years <laughs> advantage. <laughs> so, so not not this time. But I think that this guy uh, will become uh, much stronger in years. I, I was not uh, uh, I was not close to his level uh, at nineteen years. Not not yeah. even close. And I yeah. think that I would not beat him even at my 25. Uh, yeah. he, was, he, he is really good for his age. But yes, now I had advantage. But yeah, uh, well, I he... think uh, it was a kind of a warming up. And now um, Engin will find... Uh, no, and, and now the level will be... Perhaps um, it will grow for some time. 
Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. How how does it feel? Because I believe you and I are only one month apart. Uh, you're born in 1984. Uh, 1984, yes. 1984. I'm 1984 as well. How does it feel when you're up on the stage pulling Reno and you've been arm wrestling longer than he's been alive? Well, actually, um, I felt uh, a bit uncomfortable about this. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Well, but, uh, uh, well I'll, because I'll there was a true, true, true order. But uh, you know, uh, there are uh, some uh, pools now who are uh, also twenty or more years older than me, like uh, John, uh, like John. Yeah. Yes. So I'm I'm somewhere in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're one of the best to ever do it that match with reno what were your thoughts when he got a a pin on you Uh, what were my thoughts Uh, that he was uh, quicker and uh, that i uh, was made a mistake in that round yeah yeah and then, and then, when you pulled, uh, when you pulled Camille, that was, that was like a murder. That that was so quick, so fast. W- were you even surprised with yourself? How quick, how fast you were against Camille? Uh, no, actually. I had only a month uh, to get ready for Camille. And all this month I trained for speed, for reaction. And uh, I also, I already was rather quick. And I became uh, even quicker. And uh, my main strategy was to be first. And uh, that's how it happened. And also I was uh, strong in the, in the center, I think. Uh, in the center, you know, as I Said, uh, so, so it was just according to my plan in that uh, fight, and I was also rather focused because I knew that if I uh, if I'm not uh, first, uh, I uh, it could end uh, like uh, with Dave, like Camille and Dave. Yes, so, so I I had to be quicker. Yes, and I was focused to, to do it. And with Rino, I was not so focused actually. And uh, maybe that's why he was first in most rounds. In most rounds, he started uh, earlier than me. I was a bit what? relaxed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what? why were you relaxed? Why were you oh, focused? Maybe after Camille, uh, I thought that I, I'm very quick. Maybe, yeah. uh, maybe because he's too young. Uh, he was too young. And I knew that I'm uh, much uh, more experienced. Um, but actually, he he was better in some in some moments. Yeah, yeah. Now going going back into your awesome career, when was when was the moment you realised your left arm was amazing, was the the most powerful in in the world? Well, it's not uh, most. Powerful in the world, I think. Uh, ah, you mean in uh, weight category? In weight yes. category? Yeah. Uh, because because overall, I, I I think I have never been the best. Yeah. And even now, uh, uh, in uh, 2012, I had uh, two injuries with my right hand, mm. uh, and uh, for some time I trained mostly my left, and it became stronger than right uh, for some mm-hmm. time. And in years uh, 2013, um, 14, 15, uh, my left was really good, and uh, then I wa- won uh, world championship, uh, perhaps twice. 
yes, uh, European Championship. Uh, at that time, my left was really good. Uh, then um, I had some injury on my left, and it became strong again uh, only uh, perhaps uh, last year when I got to East West. Ah, yeah. I also won world champion in 2021, WAF yeah. world championship. Um, yes, it was rather good then. Yeah. What do, can you explain to people what it feels like when they call your name out after you've won a world championship and you're getting presented with the medal or the title belt when they say, Ivan Matyashenko, world champion? <clears throat> well, last time I was really uh, glad and satisfied with the result because uh, I, ne I needed uh, that uh, champ uh, that uh, world title uh, very much. I had some, um, I would say, responsibility for other people, for my coach uh, at that time, and uh, I had to become the first uh, in 2021. So it was very important for me, and uh, I wanted to. Um, I knew that I have uh, in those days. I also thought about getting to prof uh, more professional level to umpires, and I also wanted to uh, how to say to put a mark uh, to 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 stop uh, to finish amateur career with good yep. result. So it was very important for me then. Yeah, and now you're becoming the ultimate professional. That's for sure. The ultimate professional. Back, a, back around uh, 2012, uh, 2012, 2013, you gripped up with Gennady Vikvinya in a 95 kilo category. You gripped it was up 2007. With, 2007, sorry. 2007. 2007 sorry. Yes. And we also pulled in 2011, 2012, but it was 110 kilograms. Yeah, and you gripped up with Levan in the 110, uh, 110 category. What are, you, what are your thoughts on how big they are now? Like, they're, like as you've gradually grown, you know, you've been around 95 to 115, and these guys have gone from 95 to 140 to 180 kilos. What's your thoughts on their progression, their growth throughout the year? I, I was just surprised every year. They, they become <laughs> bigger, 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 bigger. And I was, staying, I was staying 110, and they were getting 120, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 kilograms. I, I'm talking about Levan. He was gradually getting bigger and bigger. Uh, as for me, I, I, unfortunately, it's not comfortable for me to get weight. I do not feel uh, good when I am uh, too big. Maybe I'll try to to add some kilograms, maybe five, seven, but I think not more. Uh, and it's difficult to eat so much. So they, um, it's it's rather difficult, I would say. Yeah. What's the heaviest you have ever weighed? Maybe 118, 18, 118, yes. Yeah, okay. And you feel comfortable in the 115 kilo category? Yeah. Yes, it was great that, uh, that I'm getting introduced to uh, 115 because uh, there was no such uh, category before. There was uh, 105 and over. And there was 110 and over. And um, I think that's the best weight class for me. Because 105 yeah. is a little, uh, is too little. And uh, and over, there are such giants as Levan, Kurdisha, and uh, those guys, big, very big guys. They're monsters. Uh, Cvitkov, Cvitkov, uh, Cvitkov, Pizulayev, they're, they're too big. Maybe I, I can pull some, some of them, but... Uh, but it's uh, rather difficult. Yeah, yeah. Now, you've spent uh, a lot of time in the past with Dennis Saplenkov on the training table, sparring with Dennis. Do you think uh, Dennis today 
can reach the same level as he was 10 years ago? Uh, actually, I do not know. Um, I think that uh, it depends only on his health and uh, how it uh, allows him to 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 become better. I think that there is a chance, but uh, maybe even even he uh, doesn't know. Uh, yeah, will will he manage? Yeah. Uh, but uh, but I can say for sure that now uh, when pulling Devon. Uh, he was not that uh, Dennis. He was maybe uh, 75, 80% of that Dennis. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, Jake wants to know, uh, he wonders how good your top role is. Uh, because do you even train top role? Because your hook is so good. <laughs> um, yes, I train it a little. And uh, if you saw... I uh, add some top roll moves uh, when pulling uh, with the Reno, with Camille. There, there was, uh, and even with uh, David, uh, David Rabulia, I added some uh, back pressure and pronation. But not uh, a pure top roll, yes. I train, I train it, but uh, I prefer to concentrate on my uh, strongest uh, size. Yeah. Yeah, of course. And that hook. Oh, beautiful. That hook of yours. What has been uh, recently, recently I was watching from uh, the A1 Russian Open, you and Zaloev, um just in a hook battle. That's probably one of my favorite matches of yours. Do you have any favorite matches that you just absolutely yes, love? Yes, that, 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 is, that is one of them. Actually, the longest matches are my favorite. Uh, though uh, arms feel pain for, uh, for weeks after such matches. Uh, one of the best was with uh, Krasimir Kostadinov yep. uh, in uh, 2013 uh, A1. We pulled uh, several rounds, and it was uh, equal. Uh, we had equal strength, maybe um, even equal endurance, and um, it was uh, uh, it, it was a really good fight. Then uh, also um, Zaloyev Hajimurat. Um, it was rather long. Yes, I. Uh, it was uh, Russian Nationals uh, open category, and uh, the organizer put us in the first match, so both of us didn't uh, get to the final. <laughs> uh, but it, it was very important for me not to lose because I do not like to lose to smaller guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so I just, I just held him till he was exhausted. Uh, but I could not uh, finish him uh, earlier. I had to wait, uh, wait for him. Yeah, to get exhausted. Yeah, because uh, mm -hmm. yeah, a, a lot of uh, it's uh, interesting you say that because a lot of your matches where you hold the guy center, you look very comfortable, and you just look like you're trying to bleed your opponent. But it's um, it's great to know that you were actually struggling. You were, you couldn't, you couldn't finish Zaloev. Yeah, some, sometimes it happens. Yeah. Sometimes it happens. Yes, and one equal strength, and uh, then uh, there is a long and spectacular fight. Um, okay. Yeah, that's okay. No, you're doing excellent. You have pulled all the greats, all the great arm wrestlers, including the late Andre Pushkar. What does Andre Pushkar feel like on the table? Uh, I pulled Andre several times. And in most uh, uh, matches, he just flashed me uh, from, the, from the start. You know, he was always 
concentrated, focused, angry, and he had a very strong hit. But once, uh, I don't know why, he was, he had great mood, he was kind, and he didn't, um, he didn't start uh, with that hit. Uh, maybe he underestimated me, maybe. Uh, and uh, in that uh, match, uh, our strength was rather equal. He won, maybe you saw this match, but uh, I could uh, hold him a little. Yeah. But I think that if he was more focused, uh, he would uh, have left me. Yeah. Uh, he was really strong, yes. He, uh, his side pressure was... Um, side pressure was very good. Um, unfortunately, he's not with us because it, it would be very interesting to see him against... Um, Top level, top pools of nowadays. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. If yeah, if Pushkar was with us, yeah, amazing, amazing. And he was rather young. He was rather young for a super heavyweight, so he could uh, also um, get better. I think. Oh wow, wow! And he was one of the best. That's for sure. On the right arm and on the left arm, who has been? the strongest you have felt you have gone against? Well, it's difficult to say. Difficult to say. Uh, because there were some guys uh, who uh, flashed me also. Maybe Andrei Pushkar, left hand. Yep. Yes, when he was focused, uh, his hit was uh, very strong. Uh, I never pulled with Dennis uh, officially left hand, yeah. or maybe maybe pulled once, but uh, I'm not sure that he was. Well, actually, he was stronger as he beat uh, and uh, Andre uh, most times, but. Um, his uh, hand was not so, how to say, uh, heavy. <laughs> heavy. Yeah. Uh, Dennis's hand is very strong, but it is comfortable. It is comfortable when you when you hold it. But Andrew Andrews was um, like iron, I think, something like that. Ah, oh, brilliant! Um, we've uh, got a, mm -hmm. a a question here for you. Uh, does Ivan prefer training pronation? Through the thumb or through yes. the wrist? Uh, through the thumb because I do it mostly through, uh, for my hook. Uh, to pronate from hook position, so I do it, yes, uh, lower. Yep. Um, and then another uh, quick question here. How would prime Denis Saplenkov uh, compare to current Vitali left handed. Vitali is uncomfortable for Dennis. His low hand top roll um, is very uncomfortable. But Dennis uh, was uh, uh, perhaps stronger overall. His physique and uh, side pressure and triceps in his prime years. I would give uh, some advantage uh, to Dennis in those years. But uh, potentially, I think uh, Vitaly has more, uh, more, more potential. Ah, okay. But not now, but not sure, maybe now. But, but yeah. it, 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 we don't know, actually. Uh, because I think that Vitaly would have top road, Dennis. He would uh, have taken his wrist even in his prime years, but maybe with his uh, with the flop wrist, uh, uh, maybe Dennis uh, would uh, hold uh, Vitali. Mm. Maybe. Okay, yeah, brilliant. Who do you think is the best left arm puller in the world today? Vitali. Vitali. Yes. Oh, Vitaly, or maybe maybe Levan, but I haven't seen Levan pulling left hand 
for many years. But uh, when he pulled at Wav, his left hand was even stronger than right hand. So uh, maybe his left hand uh, may become one of the best or best again. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So Vitaly, the best in the world. Uh, with with you, Ivan. Um, how many how many super matches do you like to have in a year? I would like to have four matches. True left four and matches. true right. Yes, true left, true right. Ah, okay. Would be great. Would be great. Do you have a a, a dream uh, a, a dream list of athletes you'd like to pull this year? Uh, there are so many pullers, uh, and it's difficult to choose. Uh, so it depends uh, on the opportunity. If uh, uh, someone is available, perhaps uh, I should uh, pull him. Yeah. Um, uh, too many pullers, uh, instant pullers. Uh, but some of them are obviously stronger, I think, for now, like Vitaly. I think he is he's stronger. Uh Diranov, Georgi, uh, right hand, I think I think he's stronger. Uh, I'm I'm not I'm not sure that uh, uh how he feels now. I need Ooh. to ask. He had he had some problems, maybe. Yeah. Well there are there are many guys uh, I'd like to pull with. Yeah. Yeah. Who if you were if you were the one to choose, who would you like? Um, who would you like to choose to be the first person to have a shot at your title? Difficult to say. There are not so many people uh, in one hundred and fifteen, actually. Um, there are some, but uh, perhaps they are not ready to pull. Um, I would like to pull Devon. Yeah. Left hand. Left hand, yes. Um, uh, Alijan Muratov, uh, I'd like to pull him. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, he's <laughs> too dangerous. <laughs> too dangerous. <laughs> and... and and I do not like to lose to uh, smaller guys. So I would prefer to pull bigger guys uh, oh. in this case. It's just not so, how to say, I would I will not be so upset uh, if I lose to a big guy. But uh, if, uh, but Muratov is, uh, he, he has proved that uh, he is very strong, uh, beaten uh, big opponents. Um, and I think actually Muratov has potential to to fight even for super heavyweight title yeah oh, wow. because i know that in kazakhstan uh he uh, he is one of the best uh, among uh, and he can pull even super heavyweights effectively if you know what i mean uh, so yeah. uh it would be interesting to see him there but um, well, if people uh, need this match, uh, I will accept and uh, uh, will will pull. Yes, but uh, uh, yes, I'm not sure that I am the favorite here. But uh, but it will be interesting. Yes. Yeah, I've, that would definitely be interesting. Uh, Jeremiah wants to know: Did you ever pull Travis Bajan? Mm, no, never at. Uh, the tournament, no. Oh, no. Damn. Damn. Have you ever pulled Devon? Never. No. Okay. You know, yeah. I pulled uh, mostly at WAF events uh, yeah. with uh, 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 European World Championship. And uh, no Travis, no Devon uh, was there uh, in my years. They were there maybe uh, in 2000. Uh, or even earlier. Uh, so, uh, and I went to Zloty Tour only two times, 
2007 and 2011, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, uh, we didn't meet. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of Zloty, uh, it looks like it's coming back. Uh, Igor Mazarenko uh, posted something about it coming back. I don't know your relationship with Igor. I know you were going to participate in a top 16 many years ago. But what do you think about uh, Zloty coming back? Well, now it's a great time for wrestling. But uh, uh, how to say it? Yes. <laughs> Uh, but but now it is a uh, big rivalry between yeah. organizations, so uh, <laughs> so it will be uh, difficult on the one hand for him, uh, but on the other hand uh, he may invite uh, some uh, young uh, amateur pullers maybe to his events and grow some new stars. So yeah. um, uh, I don't know. I'd like, uh, actually, I would like uh, that to be uh, maybe more. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Igor, Igor did uh, many things to Amrasen. Uh, he, uh, for, for many, many years, he organized good events, arm fights, uh, those training videos. Well, he did uh, many things. And. Um, That's great. Yeah, brilliant. How much has arm wrestling changed over the the 20 years? When when you turn up to East versus West and you're signing signing posters and trading cards and it's interview after interview after interview and photos. How different was it 20 years ago? 10 years ago and today? No, it's completely different level, uh, especially uh, uh, many more sportsmen, great sportsmen. In those years, there was only Andrew Pushkar, Andrei Pushkar and Dennis, maybe Chaffee, and uh, Larat was not so, uh, not so good those days. And now there are so many uh, st big stars, and uh, the level, the overall level, is higher. Uh, in terms of organization, I would say that uh, Igor also did great things, and his umpires were, were good. And uh, uh, even now, if you look for some uh, umpires that he organized, they, they were really good. But mm. uh, you remember there were five or six umpires true three times a year and now almost every month we have um, east west king of the table uh, and um, there are and there are much more uh, many more arm fights in, in event and uh, in previous years there was one or two instant big matches and other were not so significant i would say not not so interesting and now um, thanks to engine i think mostly because he uh, um, he matches uh, pairs greatly. There are, um, I think, 90% of matches are very spectacular and uh, um, very interesting. And you never know who will win, because what, uh, every time before those events, um, uh, and, and uh, some, some people ask who will win, and you never know, because the yeah. pairs are so close uh, in, in many... Uh, times and, and that is uh, really interesting. Yeah, my my predictions are usually oh, where do you go? Oh, there you are. Yeah, yeah. Usually my predictions are are wrong, so I love it. I love watching, and like even even when you pulled Camille, like I thought you would beat Camille, but then I didn't think you would destroy Camille so quickly. It was like you had to go back to work. You you pinned him so so quickly. It was um it was very 
Yeah, uh, I, I like everything that's going on in arm wrestling. Will you, will you ever pull at King of the Table? Uh, hope so. Uh, I think uh, yes. Okay, yes. awesome, great. Yeah, I, and uh, you you have worldwide, Ivan. You have a lot of fans, and they a lot of supporters, and they want to see you pull everywhere. East versus West, King of the Table. I think everyone really enjoys your style of pulling. Everyone enjoys the person you are. Uh, not, I think not everyone likes uh, the way I pull because people want hard, spectacular matches. <laughs> uh, but, uh, I think that there will be such such matches uh, later. Yes, but um, I'm not so much a showman. Yeah. <laughs> to to make a match when uh, when uh, I, I'm for effective winning, I uh, find uh, I try to find the most effective way to win the match. But I think when there will be equal strength, equal endurance, uh, then it will be great match. Like uh, against Krasimir, I had Zaloyev and some other matches, and yeah. it will and it will happen for sure. Ah, absolutely, and we are so excited. To see it. Um, I have a few questions for there's some questions in the chat, and then I'll finish off with a question because uh, we really appreciate your time. Um, will the hook master compete in WAF in the future? Uh, I'm I'm not sure. I thought about it that maybe uh, when I uh, become too old. <laughs> Uh, for competing at um, East West, and uh, uh, maybe uh, I'll uh, yeah. decrease weight, decrease weight, and uh, get to some masters category. Uh, maybe in my seventies, seventies. But uh, looking uh, at John at Todd Hutchings, and uh, seeing them uh, pulling greatly uh, in the late fifties. Um, I, I'd like to. I'd, li I'd like to uh, be like them, actually, till uh, till uh, sixties. Yes, uh, I'm not sure that I will be able, but and then uh, maybe. But uh, now, now, no WAF. Uh, um, I think uh, in the nearest future. Yeah, yeah. Um, who do you think is faster left arm? You, Aljan, or David Dadikan? I think that reaction uh, speed is uh, about the same. Okay. Uh, about the same. But uh, uh, the power of uh, move, um, the explosiveness for... Um, Maybe the Dikyan had uh, had uh, the best uh, move, ex uh, most explosive. Uh, Alijan uh, became a, a bit slow, I would say. Uh, slower when he gained weight, uh, he um, seldom flash pins. He sometimes uh, holds his opponent first and only then pins. Um, and yeah. I, uh, I start uh, good. But not always I finish uh, from the first uh, attack. Yeah. Well, it's difficult to say, yes. Uh, all of these uh, sportsmen are, are rather fast. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, uh, one should measure measure such things. Yeah, yeah that would be a really good ah, you may You may see, analyze video videos from yeah. the goal. And... Yes, it's true. We, yeah, that Maybe. would be a great video, a great um, analytic video. I like it. I like it. Uh, are you competing April 20th at East versus West? No, no. No. Uh, yeah, uh, not, not April. Okay. Not, not April. Well, um, in speak... summer. I think I will have some matches in summer. Ah, okay. Oh, beautiful. More Ivan matches are great for arm wrestling. Um, on April 20th, 
Who do you think will win between Devin Larratt and Levan Saganashvili? If Levan is 100% ready, I would bet for Levan. For Levan, yes. But uh, Devon is uh, will be much more, uh, much closer to to Levan this time, and uh, maybe he will have his chance. I would bet for Levan, but uh, I I think uh, a good equal fight is possible. Wow! Now Devon uh, has become much better, and uh, he's really good. Yeah, it'll be a, a yeah, it'll be a great match. It's I would give a, a little advantage to Levan, maybe fifty-five to forty-five, not like it was seventy to thirty or even more last time when uh, Levan um, was much better. That close! Wow, wow! Yes. I love it. And if, if Levan makes any mistake, any mistake. And uh, gets a little uh, pumped somewhere. I think he will have big problems. But he is a professional, and uh, maybe he will not uh, do this. Uh, he will not make these mistakes, especially after his uh, pulling him pulling uh, Armies. Uh, I think he will work on his endurance also. Ah. Brilliant. I love it. I love it. It's going to be a great match. Uh, everyone in the chat, can we please thank the great, the hookmaster, Ivan Matyashenko, for joining uh, the Aussie Arm Wrestler on the show. Uh, it's been great. I could talk about your career for hours, but I don't want to take up uh, too much of your time. Ivan, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. And see you <laughs> soon. <laughs>